What's up guys, Matt here with Odds Jam, and for this video, I'm giving you some college football best bets for Friday, December 30th, specifically for Friday the 30th. Got a pretty good slate of college football games that day, the bowl season starting to pick up. Obviously, the college football playoffs is just the next day on Saturday the 31st. So if you want picks for those games, I did come out with a betting preview for each one individually and then a best bets for the college football playoffs as well. Definitely recommend checking that out for this video, some CFB, NCAAF, whatever you call it. Um, best bets for Friday the 30th. So let's get right into it. We've got a couple games going on here. Uh, the first bet that I'm going to lock in, of course, all of them, I should say, I found using Odds Jam, using the positive expected value page. And the game, the first bet that we we're looking at is in the Wyoming versus um, Ohio game. And we're looking at Ohio minus one and a half plus 100 odds at points bet. So Odds Jam calculates the no big odds, the Odds Jam perfect line to be at about minus 101, a little bit above minus 101. And these numbers are very important, excuse me. Uh, they're pulled from the sharpest sports books in the world, the sports books that consistently do the best job at pricing odds feed into these no big odds. So the, the logic being, Odd Jam calculated, back tested, did a ton of testing to figure out what sports books are consistently the sharpest, and then use them to set the market moving forward. And then um, is, is at the same time constantly scanning odds from all of the major sports books, providing betting opportunities which show up on the positive EV page that have better odds. And when I say better, I mean uh, more favorable. More favorable. That's a tongue twister to the sports better, which just means higher payout. So spits out bets that have a higher payout than what the odds jam perfect line is giving you. So in this case, again, minus 101 to points bet has it at uh, plus 100. So that's kind of the math behind it, right? It takes four seconds to look at that. The additional research that you want to do is if you click into a play, you see how it's like highlighted blue? Well, is if you click into a play, um, it pulls up where every sports book is pricing odds for that play. And we're just trying to see how does the plus 100 compare to the rest of the betting markets? And in this case, so plus 100, that's even money, 50-50. If you place 1,000 bets at plus 100 odds and you win 500 of those bets, you will break even. Any amount that you win more than 50%, higher than 50%, you are profiting. So in this case, plus 100, where does every other book have it? Well, majority of books either have it at 50-50 like Betfred, you see how it has minus 110 each way. It, it doesn't have a favored outcome. So they think that this Ohio minus one and a half is a 50-50 bet. As does Caesars, Bet365, DraftKings, and WinBet. Well, look at where the other books price it. FanDuel favors Ohio at this number. Typico favors Ohio at this number, as does FoxBet as does Pinnacle. And Pinnacle is the sharpest sports book in the world, consistently has the best odds, Pinnacle. So majority of sports books either have it as a 50-50 outcome, which we would break even if that happened, or favors it, which would obviously be profitable for us. The only book that doesn't have that outside of points bet, which is who we're placing the bet with, is Bet Rivers. And they have it close to 50-50. They have Wyoming at minus 112. They have Ohio at minus 109. Basically calling it 50-50, slightly favoring Wyoming. Every other sports book disagrees with that and really disagrees with the points bet at plus 100. So this is a really good bet for, <clears throat> excuse me, for those reasons. We're getting 15 cents of juice, which is the market with here, which is a good number. You want this number to be low. Anything 15 and below is really good. Uh, this is just how much juice the sports books are charging the market. The lower equals the better. So all in all, a lot of good, um, a lot of good stuff with this Ohio bet as my first pick. Next up, Obviously, same day, Friday the 30th, we are looking at Notre Dame minus four and a half plus 140 odds at uh, points bet, excuse me, at points bet. So again, points bet prices it at plus 140. Pinnacle, which I did say, did say is the sharpest, has it a little bit closer at plus 135, so five cents below. Bet365 also has it at plus, uh, plus 135. I'm sorry, a lot of fives in that number. FanDuel at plus 134, but then look at the rest of the sports books. Caesars plus 120, DraftKings plus 120, Foxbet plus 125, and Bet Rivers plus 128. They all have it 20 to 12 to 15 cents below 
the points bet line. So this one isn't as good of a value as this Ohio one up here, but still a really good play. Notre Dame minus four and a half plus 140 odds. And then the last two are both in the South, or no, sorry, one more game, excuse me, one more play in South Carolina versus Notre Dame. We're looking at the, this total going under 52. So the total's priced at 52. Caesars is giving us to that, giving that to us, excuse me, at minus 110 odds. The Ostrium Novig line has this at about minus 111. So the, the, cent, the one cent gap between these two numbers is where your value comes into play. And then look at the rest of the sports books. We see odds ranging from minus 120 all the way up to minus 138. 10 to 18 to 28, excuse me, cents higher than the minus 110. And then for a total such as this, so we know that if you're looking at the screenshot, you know that odds are different depending on the sports book, right? Sports books have different odds. Sports books also have different totals, right? They don't, not every single book has this total at 52. So we are taking an under 52. So if you view this event page in the new, in the new tab, it pulls up where other sports books price the total at. So not only are we comparing where sports books price the over under 52, but we are comparing, okay, where do they even have this total at? And obviously in our case, since we're taking an under, we want to make sure that they price it below 52. So let's see. I'm pulled up odds jam, the odds shopping screen. Every other sports book doesn't look like a single sports book has their main line bet for this play at 52. We see a lot of them have it at 51 and a half, a half point lower. That would be BetMGM. That would be, looks like Bookmaker, and that's important. Bookmaker is a, is a very sharp sports book. They have it at 51 and a half and that's this one right here. And they favor it going under. So not only do they have it a half point lower, they also think that the under is the more likely scenario. And then Foxbet has it at 51 and a half. Pinnacle actually looks like they have it at 51. And that's the rest of the sports books. So some sports books have it half a point lower. Some sports, some sports books, another tongue twister, have it a full point lower. That would be, looks like the majority of them. Betfred, points bet, bet365, DraftKings, win bet. Uh, Typico, not quite Bet Rivers. Bet Online, another sharp sports book. Bet Online has it at 51, as does Circa, Pinnacle, and SportsBetting.ag. And you might ask, well, why is it that big of a deal if I'm beating the closing line by a point or even half a point? Why does that really matter that much? Like if the total ends at 53, you lose all of these. If it ends at 50, you win all of them. So what does it matter? And that's a good question. For one individual bet, it probably won't be the difference between winning and losing. But the goal here is to be profitable in the long run. And over the course of a thousand bets, it's going to matter a lot. How often do you see on social media, the total landed at 51 and a half or the over under closed at 51 and a half and the total ended at exactly 52 or exactly 51. Vegas does it again. Um, you'd be amazed at how often these sports books price things correctly. So getting a point or even a half point advantage is really, really valuable in the long run. So it might not seem like a big deal for one individual bet, <clears throat> but for a thousand bets, it can literally be the difference between losing and winning money. So um, something to, to note there. So the third play, South Carolina versus Notre Dame under 52. And then the last one in the Clemson versus Tennessee game, probably the best game of the day. Kind of sucks that Tennessee's quarterback got hurt hooker because that guy's a stud. Um, ten, uh, Clemson minus two and a half. First half spread, minus 115 at Clemson. So, uh, excuse me, 115 at Caesars. It's the, the bet is Clemson minus two and a half, minus 115 at Caesars, excuse me. So um, Caesars has it at minus 115, Pinnacle at minus 121. Bet Rivers at minus 124, DraftKings at minus 140. And let's look at this one in a new tab. Again, we know what <coughs> sportsbooks price the two and a half both ways. Where do they price this first half total in general? Majority of them, have it at minus three. And that's obviously a huge deal. And some of them even have it at three and a half, which is an even huger deal. That's not a word, but an even bigger deal. Like Bookmaker has it at three and a half. Bet Online has it at three. So if, uh, excuse me, if if Clemson is winning, <clears throat> or if it's, it's, if it's tied heading into the end of the first half, Clemson kicks a last second field goal to go up by three. Your bet wins, the minus three pushes, the minus three and a half loses. That is why getting these points um, even like over, especially a key number like three is really, really important. This is exactly where beating the closing line by even half a point can be a tremendous, tremendous value. So that's going to be it for 
picks for you guys to lock in for Friday, December 30th. And that's it. So I appreciate everybody watching and have a good one.